Guys, that behind me is Huntington Beach Pier. So that must mean only one thing. I'm in Surf City, USA. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ultimate Bucket List. And on today's show, I'm in Huntington Beach. AKA Surf City, USA. This beach is world famous for its surfing. And if there's anywhere in the world that you absolutely have to try surfing or want to learn how to surf, this is the obvious choice. Due to its warm weather, fantastic waves, mile long pristine beaches, and well, it's just a cool place to hang out. When I got here this morning, I walked straight into a surfing competition. No, I didn't actually take part of it myself, I just observed from the sidelines. But I actually watched it mainly from the pier and using my drone from the air, and it was pretty cool to see what a surfing competition actually looks like. Which is kind of awesome, I've never been to one of these before. This is the go-to destination if you like surfing, if you want to surf, if you want to try surfing. Now, there are numerous places around the world that you can surf. Bondi Beach in Sydney, hosts of Cornwall, uh, Miami Beach, South Beach. But none of them are like this place. And let me explain why. First thing, you don't usually walk into a classic car show when you're at these other places. I actually walked through this this morning and I didn't actually know what it was but I assumed that this isn't an everyday occurrence. There were cars that I've only seen on TV here, and there were thousands of them literally lining the streets. I actually fell in love with the Chevy Bel Air, the red one, and seriously, I could have spent literally all day looking at these cars. So yeah, if you do come to Huntington Beach, don't be surprised if you see stuff like this. But obviously, I'm not here for the cars, I'm here for the surfing. So let's get to it. But I forgot my surfboard and I don't have anything to surf with. That's not a problem because pretty much every 200 yards someone is trying to sell you rentals on surfboards, rentals on wetsuits. So even if you do forget anything, you can rent it. I've got the surfboard and well, let's see if I remember how to surf. What's the worst that could possibly go wrong? Water's actually pretty cold. Um, Water's cold. It's gonna take a while to get used to, but we'll uh, we'll see. There's plenty of people out here doing it, so it's all good. Here we go. Let's catch it. Future in here. I actually lost the GoPro literally after filming this scene, and I spent about two hours trying to look for it in the water, but couldn't find it. A chap called Matt emailed me literally 18 months later to say that he'd found it. So he actually sent it back to me from Huntington Beach and I couldn't be happier. So Matt, if you are listening to this, thank you very much. You've really, really made my day and helped make this video. Okay, it's fairly obvious that I suck at surfing, but this is the best place to actually try it. You know, I'm not dead, I've not drowned, I'm still alive. I'll be stung by jellyfish or stingrays or been eaten by sharks. So this is a nice safe environment if you do want to try and learn how to surf. But this place isn't just about the surfing. There's many other activities that you can do. You can cycle along the promenade. It's pretty cool to cycle around. And obviously the elephant of the room is this, Huntington Beach Pier, where you get a phenomenal view of Huntington Beach from both sides. It's a great place to watch the surfing for sure, it's a cool place to watch women kick random thin air for no apparent reason. And seemingly, it's a good place to fish. This seems to be a very popular spot with people who like to fish. And boy, there's a lot of fishermen out here today. At the end of the pier is this, Ruby Surf City Diner. A retro style 50s diner serving American food from yesteryear. It's pretty cool inside, definitely, definitely worth going into albeit it can get a little busy, not like today. When you do come along here to the pier, don't be surprised if you see stupid crap like this. Quote unquote Instagram models try to get that Instagram shot because obviously it's a beach and it's a lovely pier and it's world famous. So yeah, be prepared for that. And one other thing that you'll notice here in Huntington Beach, California, everyone's really friendly. 
it's not too hard to strike up a conversation with the Americans that do live here. Everyone's really friendly and you know what? It's a nice atmosphere. Everyone's a, a lot more laid back than some of the places that I've been to so far. So if you hang around long enough, try and get around Huntington Beach at sunset because the sunsets here are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, take a look at the size of that sun. You don't usually see that, especially around my neck of the world. And it's actually kind of cool to watch the sun get bigger and go down. The best place to watch this is actually from the pier. So if you get up to the pier right at the top, the sunset is very, very cool, albeit quite busy when it finally happens. But guys, you've got the whole package here. Nice beaches, friendly people, it's warm, it's clean, there's lots of amenities, it's easy to find, there's basically everything is cool here. You have to come here. Add this to your bucket list, I'm not kidding. Huntington Beach, California, it's about a 90 minute drive from LA. Guys, you have to do this. You have to come here before you die. Okay, Nin, I'm sold. What do I do? Well, like I said, it's about an hour and a half drive from downtown Los Angeles. Try not to come here during rush hour traffic because otherwise it can get a little painful. To park your car anywhere on the beach, there's plenty of parking, but it's all expensive. If you're a cheap ass like me, there are a few residential areas a few blocks behind the beach where you can park for free. The cost of the beach, well, it doesn't cost anything to go onto Huntington Beach, which is great. To hire surfboards, you're thinking about $15 an hour, wetsuits, $10 an hour perhaps. So bear that in mind, if you do want to surf and you've not brought anything, you can pay to hire stuff. The longer you hire it, the more cost effective it is. If you're only hiring it for about an hour, it's probably not worth it. Is there anything else I need to know? Yeah, honestly, talk to people. Just talk to complete strangers. You never know what you might find. You never know who you bump into uh, here in Huntington. So guys, seriously, I gotta say, you gotta come here. It's, it, this place is pretty amazing. From all the beaches I've been to uh, in my life, this is a pretty amazing beach. I mean, I loved South Beach, don't get me wrong. The only thing that ruined it for me was basically the price of Miami. Here, everything's really cost effective. So guys, definitely, definitely worth adding to your bucket list. If you've enjoyed this episode, if you've enjoyed seeing me drown or attempt to surf, comment on the comment section below, come and subscribe. And if you've got any other ideas for bucket lists, feel free to tweet them at me. Tweet them at me right here. If I do get enough suggestions, I'll be sure to, uh, I'll be sure to give them a go. Guys, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. If you're hungry, if you're hungry, the streets are nearby, they're lined with shops. If you've forgotten any article of clothing, there's plenty of places around here that won't hesitate to sell you stuff cheap. Ugh. But you know, that, 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 that's pretty cool. And one other thing, that